I have an issue. I built two shops on the Craftopia SMP, but didn't record me building them at all. I just forgot. But I will still show them to you, so let's go. So first off, here we have the bamboo shop. This isn't ordinary. You don't just put a diamond in a box and take something out. It is special. You throw eight diamonds in here, then press the button, and then you're down here, and then you can just loot every single of these chests. I thought that would be a more interesting concept than the usual store. For this one there is no time limit, so you just can craft the bamboo into bamboo blocks or whatever and put them in your shulker chests and then in your ender chest and then if you're done you press on the exit. This is how it looks like, this is right here by the way something I've built in the last episode, this is in the info card right now. And I chose this design even though it's a little bit ugly because it is all made out of bamboo blocks. And it is right under the bamboo farm, obviously I couldn't build it somewhere else. I also decided to make those fences here to make it just look a little bit lighter and also like a cage a little bit. I'm sure the other members will like this one. I mean until they get in here and there is not a single bamboo in the chest because someone was just there earlier. Yes, so you have to be lucky to get as much from there as possible because you would have to be AFK a little bit and then go in there and make sure that no one else has bought something. So let's head over to the Goop Cave. I built this insane slime farm right here in one of my episodes. You can see it in the info card right now. As you can see, there are a ton of slimes here. They're all standing still because they're, you know, just at the edge of being out of render. I'm just here in free cam right now. But this produces a great amount of slime balls. And what am I gonna do with the slime balls? Well, I'm gonna settle them. I decided to craft them into slime blocks, which are nine slime balls. And then here I'm selling four of those blocks, which would be 36 slime balls for one diamond. This is really cheap. So now what does this have to offer? First, it serves a beautiful scenery. I have a little pond up here with water flowing down. I have different types of stone. The walls are all encaved with some cobble and some gravel and all different types of heights but what is this here what is this here oh what is everything here well this has to do with the little mini game you put one diamond in the barrel then press the button and then four slime blocks will be launched out of the wall uh, one after each other and you gotta obviously collect them all this took me a while to make and i just at the end realized that i did not record a single thing of it not a single thing i am mad but whatever i'm gonna show it to you how it works with beetroot seeds because i have the access here to not only put diamonds here uh, i can also put other things in here because i'm well I own the slime farm, I don't have to pay for my slime. Alright, this is how it works. You put your diamond in here, just imagine the beetroot seeds are the diamond, then you press this button. Now listen closely, there are uh, a note block and obviously a dispenser, well a dropper, dropping the item. So you will always hear where it's been dropped. It's always the same sequence by the way, it's, it doesn't change, so the first few times you might encounter this then it's gonna be interesting later on it might be a little bit tedious but that's whatever spoiler warning if you are a craftopia member watching this right now then please just experience this for yourself before i show this to you please use it yourself before you do this okay skip forward and i think look here's a little access to here i think this note block did not activate because there is a comparator on top so I have to change this. Alright, little fix here, I just placed it here. And this should work now. Yeah, as you can see, this is a little bit messy over here. I couldn't really make, I didn't really bother making it that compact because, you know, do you see the structure here? This is like, it's, it's a cave and you have some things going between each other. So it's really difficult making it compact. So let's show you a second time, shall we? Yep, those are the four. There is always one that is basically guaranteed because you can always get this one because it's so slow. But the other three, as you've seen, it pops out here and goes over here in this hopper. This is really fast, so you gotta already stand here to get it. 
Then the second one, you know, you can just hop up there and get it. And the third one gets dispensed out of here and goes over here. So after you've collected this one, you gotta run over here, collect this one, and then the next one, you gotta run over here and collect this one. Because this one goes up here, over there, and then down there into the hopper again. Oh, there has already been someone paid. Okay, that's really funny. Um, I, I wanted to show you the concept right here. So you put something in the barrel, then this redstone torch here is deactivating the hopper, and here if you press the button over there, the redstone torch gets deactivated and the item can flow down here. If it passes through here, the whole sequence gets activated. So what does it get activated? Well, first off, with a little bit of delay, this dropper here. By the way, here are the hoppers that lead back into it because I have a cycle that just, you know, makes it so no items are wasted. So this one gets activated and the note block, this is number one. Then over here we have something going up to here which is this right here, this dropper, this is number two, this is the one with the cobweb. If we're wondering about the blue eyes, uh, it is because down there is the hopper and it needs to, you know, send it back up with a water stream to up here. The other ones are all at the same layer as the hoppers, so I made sure to do that because otherwise, like this, it's a little bit tedious. As you can see, there is the dropper ejector and here would be the water stream. Alright, next one. This line over here goes to number 3. Yes, this is really, really close to number 2. You might think, well, the other one is up there, but this is the one that sends it over along this path here with the slabs. So yeah, this just gets activated too and also the note block and then here it's already going over to the signal for the fourth one which is this one here that goes upwards in the water. This also obviously activates a note block, they're all above air so they... And now you will think what is this compared to what I talked earlier on about. Well it's just to see that if there is no item in here and in here I didn't bother with the other two because the connection would be, you know, a little bit tedious to make. But I think if two out of the four are empty, then the other two would also be empty. So it goes over here and to this redstone lamp. Which means when this redstone lamp is active, then the shop is empty. Alright, now I myself will try to get some, so let's go. Alright, one. Two. Three. And over here is number four. Perfect! So this is the proof it works, you can get all four. Do I have to say the fourth one is really stressful, so you gotta go really fast from here to over here. But yeah, that's the minigame. Well, these are the two shops now, and I just made them for the Craftopian members, so they have so they can have some bamboo and slime to buy, but also have, you know, a little a little fun with those minigames. Because right here, you know, if someone else bought it just earlier, then you won't get nothing, but you could also hit the big jackpot if no one has bought it for like a week or so. So, which would be the case right now. And same thing with the mini game over there. So it's basically one, two, four slime blocks equal a diamond because this one slime block is basically guaranteed. And as you can see, there's a slime flowing through the farm. <laughs> Bro, I love this. This is this is great. Thanks for watching this maybe a bit chaotic episode because I oh, well I didn't record any of the build process I just showcased the things that I built but I still hope you enjoyed it. You're now gonna have the choice on screen right now. Do you wanna watch the video on the slime farm here, which is honestly one of my best videos, or do you wanna watch the video about how I covered up this bamboo farm? Well, I'll let you choose. Goodbye, have a good day.